Hey there grammar students, I'm Chelsea with Let's Talk. In this video, let's break down the past simple tense with regular verbs. So, we use past simple tense for something that happened in the past and it's done. It's finished. I can say yesterday. I watched TV. Right now, I'm not watching TV anymore. I'm done watching TV. Yesterday, I watched TV. Or last week, she arrived in Los Angeles. Now she's in Los Angeles. She isn't arriving still. She's done arriving. She arrived in Los Angeles. So for most verbs, it's easy to form the past simple form. Uh, we are just going to add uh, a D or an ED. If your, your, your verb, if your verb ends in an E, we're just going to add a D. So our verb arrive or taste, these both end in an E. We're just going to add the letter D. Arrived, tasted. If your verb ends in a consonant, Um, like camp or recommend. I'll add the ed. Camped. Recommended. Alright? Simple so far. But, of course, we have some more rules. Now, just like ing verbs, superlatives, and comparatives, we care about the number of syllables, the letter Y, and CVC. All right. So, first off, if we have a verb that ends in a consonant, and a Y, a consonant and a Y, like study or carry. In this situation, we're going to get rid of the Y and add I, E, D. So study, no Y, we get studied and for carry, carried, okay? But if a verb ends in a vowel and a Y, like delay or enjoy, we'll just do the regular ED ending. Delay becomes delayed, enjoy, enjoyed. Okay? So, consonant plus Y, vowel plus Y. Now, let's talk CVC. With a one-syllable verb that ends in CVC, we will double the consonant and add ED. So a verb like stop, we have consonant, vowel, consonant at the end. So that last consonant we'll do two times. Stop. Or with plan, 
We've got CVC at the end, so we'll double that N plant. Uh, but that doesn't count if a CVC verb ends in X, Y, or W. In that case, it's just the regular ED. So, mo or tax. Yesterday you mowed your lawn. Last year you were taxed a thousand dollars. So it's still CVC, consonant, vowel, consonant, but if that last consonant is an X, a Y, or a W, just the ED. Okay, what about two-syllable verbs? These ones get kind of weird, okay? Stay with me. A two-syllable verb that ends in CVC has two possibilities. We care about the emphasis in the verb. So with two syllables, if the emphasis goes on the first syllable, so a verb like order, travel, emphasis is on that first syllable. For order or travel, for these ones, we'll just add ed. Ordered. Traveled. Okay? But if we have a two-syllable verb that ends in CVC with the emphasis on the second syllable, Uh, a verb like prefer. Or admit. Prefer. Admit. Emphasis is on the second syllable. For these, we'll do that double consonant and the ed. So prefer. We'll take that R and do it two times. Preferred. Admit. Do that T two times. Admitted. Admitted. So, order. Travel. Prefer. Admit. We care about the emphasis here. Now, these are just for two syllable verbs that end in CVC. Everything else, if it's a consonant plus Y, I-E-T. If it's a vowel, plus Y, E-D. Uh, if it ends in an E, just a D. If it ends in a consonant, the E-D. All right? So these ones are just for two syllable with C-V-C, specifically. Okay, that is everything for now about these past tense regular verbs. Uh, down in the comments, tell me what you did last weekend. My name's Chelsea, reminding you it's not nerdy being wordy. Let's talk again soon.